Hey everyone, my name is Chris and welcome back to the Rideshare Hub. If you're new here, the Rideshare Hub is a channel all about being a better rideshare driver and making money. If you're returning, welcome back. Before we get started, if you're thinking about becoming a Uber or Lyft driver, make sure you click the link in the description below. All right, so you hear me say at the beginning of the uh, video that the Rideshare Hub is a channel all about being a better rideshare driver and making money. Today we're gonna focus on making money but more importantly, the reality of the making money. So I'm gonna share with you what I actually make for the, the first couple of days that I went out this week. So we're gonna talk about that, but first what I wanna put into perspective is everything like the area that I drive in, the time that I drive, uh, the amount that I drive, and then also just the demand to show you how it's changed over the last uh, year into uh, what it is right now. So let's get started by saying, first, the time that I drive, I drive part-time. Sure, you can see people drive uh, and make about $1,000 or $1,500 a week uh, doing rideshare and driving for Uber or Lyft. But the reality of this situation is you're putting also in 60, 70, 80 hours, and that's not feasible for a lot of people. Most people can only drive uh, a certain amount, maybe a week or a day or a few, every few days or something. Uh, these people are going out and, and again, doing a lot of time driving. You know, you're, you're pretty much sleeping, eating and driving. Uh, and for most people who are probably driving, that might not be feasible. Uh, it's definitely not feasible for me with, you know, my other projects that I got going on, uh, you know, family, friends, uh, everything else that's going on. So I drive part time. Also, the time that I drive is at night. I drive starting between eight and nine at night, maybe sometimes a little earlier, but usually around then. And I'll go till about one to three, maybe a little bit later at night uh, afterwards. So that's when I usually drive. Uh, I drive during the night, during the bar scene. You know, people are going out doing things, uh, maybe coming back from dinner, uh, quite a few different things going on. Uh, but yeah, I mostly drive at night. I see it's very busy at that point for me. Uh, so I make some good money doing that. Also, uh, there are plenty of other times to go out when it's not so busy. Uh, or I mean, when it is busy, uh, like the morning rush hour, the afternoon rush hour, uh, during the day can be busy depending on where you are. Uh, there's, there's a lot of different things that go into it. Uh, but if you want to know when the best time is for you, uh, just go out when you can and then kind of see what that's all about. But then also the area that I drive is Buffalo, New York. I drive in the Buffalo, Niagara Falls region of New York and probably between both counties where the city of Buffalo resides in and the city of Niagara Falls, probably got a little over a million people. Uh, so it's not a very big area. Uh, it's, a, you know, it's probably a small to medium sized city uh, or cities because they are very close. Um, but most, the bulk of my driving is in Buffalo and the surrounding suburbs. I'll go up to Niagara Falls every once in a while uh, and usually that's going up somebody who's going up to the falls and then I'll just drive around there. And then usually within an hour or so, somebody's going back to Buffalo. So it's usually short lived, but I'll drive between the both um, up in that area. So that is pretty much giving you the perspective of, you know, the time that I drive, where I drive, and then the amount that I drive. So let's put that into perspective. So I went out two days this week so far, you know, Tuesday and yesterday, which was Friday. Um, so those are the two days that I did go out. So the two days that I went out, Tuesday I went out, I took 16 rides. I was online for five hours and 13 minutes. I wanted to say I started right around uh, the 8.15 mark or something. So I was out for the five hours and 13 minutes. Uh, and I actually made $111.20. So that's not too bad compared to what it used to be. Uh, Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday when I would go out, you know, you probably would make on average, you know, 50, 60, 70 dollars for that time that you're out. Um, and that's probably up to about the beginning of winter. Once this past winter hit, uh, I seen the demand to go up where Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you'll probably clear a hundred dollars, maybe more 
uh, depending on uh, what's going on, uh, different events, this, that, and the other thing that's happening. But you definitely see a lot more people uh, taking advantage of using Uber and Lyft. And that's put more money in my pocket because I haven't shifted my times that I've worked. I still go out about eight and the air eight or nine and go all the way until it's it slows down between one and three in the morning. So again, my timing has gone or I'm sorry, my my time has gone the same stayed the same and my pay has gone up for these days, which is great because the demand. So that's always a great thing. Also, like I said, I went out on Friday. Now, Friday was a little bit different because I started at 630 in the af uh, evening and um, yeah, I didn't stay out that long because I just had another thing that uh, ended up happening. So I had to go off, but you know, I took 14 trips when I was out on Friday, uh, yesterday and I made $111 and 23 cents, but here's the kicker. I was only out for three hours and 56 minutes. So it was just shy of four hours that I was out and I made $111 and 23 cents. So that's always a great thing. So for the two days that I went out, and this is just driving for Uber because uh, I didn't go out and drive for Lyft because Uber has the thing where when you're driving, another ride can come in before you finish that ride. Lyft has that as well, uh, but the first ride that came in for the night was Uber, so it pretty much just kept me going the entire night. I had zero downtime also between both of these nights, and Friday was just really, really busy. Uh, so it was definitely a good thing. So between both those nights, uh, the total that I made was $237.43 so far. Uh, that was 30 trips. It was nine hours and nine minutes. So that actually averages out to $27 per hour. So that's actually a really good thing. Uh, I used to average also, like I said, uh, before uh, this past winter, uh, I would average probably about 20, maybe $22 an hour, you know, uh, on the slower nights, like a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'd probably average maybe about $15 an hour. Uh, and then on the weekend, I would make it up where it might be about 25 an hour. Um, and then it would just even itself out. So I would probably average for driving for the entire week, uh, probably about 20 to $22 an hour. Since this past uh, winter, uh, I've actually driven a little bit less, uh, only because I've had a few other things going on, uh, especially with uh, my uh, YouTube channel where I've been doing a lot of editing and stuff. So that played a little bit of time uh, and took a little bit of time that I normally would drive for, uh, but that's all right. So um, it actually brought my time down a little bit, but I'm actually making more money. So like I said, between those two days alone, being out on a uh, Tuesday and a Friday, you know, I've averaged for the two days, 27 per hour. So yeah, between those two days, you know, you're, if you're averaging 27 an hour, that ain't bad at all. Uh, and like I said, the demand has gone up definitely in this area as I, I've seen it going up and heard it going up in other areas as well too. So it's definitely a great time to drive if you've been on, uh, been on the fence about thinking about it or if you're just getting started but you're not really sure. I would definitely start going out there, seeing what times work for you, work it into your schedule and make some extra money because that's always what we're looking for, right? Uh, but yeah, you can do a lot of different things with that money too. You can go out, have some fun, enjoy, um, whatever you want to do, take an extra vacation do a lot of different things. And this has been another episode of the Rideshare Hub. Remember, if you wanna become a Uber or Lyft driver, make sure you click the link in the description below. Also, make sure to check out my channel called Real Rideshare Stories, where we actually show you what happens during actual rides. Have a great day, see you next time.